Anatomy the subject that welcomes you in MBBS and also the subject that scares you most throughout the first year. But once you understand how to study anatomy smartly, this subject will become the most fascinating subject you will ever learn. In this video, I will guide you step by step how to study anatomy from scratch to master level so that it don't become boring and you will score your best in anatomy. First, let's understand the subject. Anatomy has three main parts, gross anatomy, histology and embryology. Gross tells you what you can see and touch in dissection hall. Histology shows you what's under the microscope. And embryology tells you how it all began. If you connect these three, you will realize anatomy is like building a human from scratch. Part 2 How to study gross anatomy Gross anatomy is the heart of first year. Before every dissection, just skip 10 minutes to the topic. Open your atlas, watch a short video or trace the structure in your notes. That tiny effort makes everything familiar when you are in the lab. When you are dissecting, don't just look, feel, touch the structure, trace their path, imagine how they function inside a living body. That's how anatomy starts to make sense. After class, revise from Vishram Singh for clarity or Bedi Chaurasia if you want to know in detail. Don't just read, draw. Sketch arteries, nerves and muscles in the flow chart or small diagram because once you draw, you will remember forever. Part 3 How to study Histology Histology looks tough at first. All those pink and purple slides but it's one of the most beautiful parts of anatomy. When you see tissue under a microscope, you are literally seeing life at its foundation. Don't just memorize, understand the pattern. Ask yourself, what's the type of epithelium? What's the special feature that are visible? Draw one neat diagram for every slide and make a mini histo notebook. Trust me, it will save you the night before your practicals. Part 4 How to Study Embryology Embryology is like storytelling. It's about how a single cell becomes an entire human being. Watch animations. They will help you visualize development, not just memorize lines. Link it with gross anatomy. If you are studying heart, read it how it develops the same day. When you connect them, you will never forget. Part 5 Revision and Exam Tips In anatomy, what matters most is not how much you study, it's how often you revise. Read a topic once, revise within 24 hours, then again after a week. That's the golden rhythm. Before exams, practice leveling diagram. Keep your answers short and structured. For your viva, Focus on applied questions like what happens if this nerve is injured? That's where examiner love to test your understanding. And remember, confidence comes from revision. Don't panic. In anatomy, you mainly have to study seven books, one for general anatomy, one for histology, one for embryology, and there are four for gross anatomy. One is upper limb and thorax part, one has lower limb and abdomen part, one has head and neck and brain, and one has neuroanatomy. So, what books you will refer when you are studying? You don't need to study gold standard books like Gray's Anatomy or any other gold standard book for that matter because they are very vast, very hard to understand and it is very difficult to write answers from this kind of book. 
सो माई ऑनेस्ट सजेशन विल बी गो फॉर बिग्डी चौरसिया और विश्रम सिंह वट एवर यू लाइक दे बोथ आर ऑलमोस्ट एट द सेम लेवल आई विल सजेस्ट यू बिग्डी चौरसिया द मोस्ट बिकॉज पीपल ऑफ एंड फाइंड दिस एट स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक सो यू विल नीट फोर वॉल्यूम ऑफ बी डी चौरसिया और विश्राम सिंह वट एवर यू लाइक और वट एवर यू ऑलरेडी हैव बॉट वन वॉल्यूम ऑफ जनरल एनाटमी यू कैन आईदर बाई बी डी चौरसिया और विश्राम सिंह और ए के दत्त फॉर एम्ब्रियोलॉजी एंड फॉर एस्ट्रोलॉजी वी बेसिकली प्रेफर आई बी सी Anatomy will test you. It will exhaust you, confuse you, and sometimes break your confidence. But it will also teach you patience, discipline, and wonder. Because once you understand the human body, you realize you are not just studying a subject. You are hearing the language of life, and that's where your journey as a doctor truly begins. Bye. <laughs>